Chris Gale and Adrian Barrett walked into bat for the Windies to sort out his rhythm and then he picked Dylan Tushara for some special treatment. Nice shot. He was really asking to be tucked away because it was a long half volley from Dylan Tushara. That was even better from Gale. In the dominant bottom hand, working the ball onto the onside with the angle. In the air, right back overhead, that's a big hit by Chris Gale, typical Chris Gale. Hit it with certainty, he really has now overcome his early uncertainty. And he was very uncertain early on. And that's a fine hit over long off. With Ajanta Mendes coming on, Gale wanted to set an example for his team. He straight away tried to dominate Mendes, a bowler whom most of the West Indies batsmen on tour had no inkling of. Gale was inching to his century, so was his confidence. And that's a beautiful sweep shot. It's square of the wicket and hit very firmly. Gal finds the boundary once again. Well, 50 partnership. He's full again and Gale punished the bowler with a maximum. Down he goes, lofts it over the top. He's on the goal, Chris Gale. Spectators scattering to get out of the way of Gale's fourth six. Five more to go to his century. Gale dispatched the ball over long off. Down he goes again. Down to long off. There's a fielder out there. And he goes back and that's his 100 with a six. Chris Gale right over the top of the fielder. And Chris Gale has got his 13th test 100. His first in the subcontinent. <laughs> what a way to mark 100. It's been a big innings for him. He was replaced by captain by Darren Sammy. Somewhat controversial circumstances. Big innings for him here. He's proved his worth that whether he's captain or not makes no difference to him. Him accumulate at will was off spinner Suraj Randeev. Safe, it was in the air, but uh, backward of that fielder at point. And uh, it's gone. It has gone to four. Wow, well, that has gone a very, very long way. That's out of the ground, Chris Gale, on that occasion, using his feet. Hitting that ball over mid-off and going well over the stadium. What a wonderful strike. Yes, he really did smack it. To break free. Now there's a reverse sweep by Gale. I don't think I've ever seen him do the reverse sweep. Well, that's the first time he's got four off for it. Heaven knows how. Let's have a look. Given four. in a row now and he's connected with that one really well first one not so well both of them producing boundaries Gale pushes on and the West Indies continue to pile on the runs well it's becoming very difficult for the Sri Lankans because Gale on an overdrive the Sri Lankans had to grab every opportunity that came their way oh there's a chance there Gale coming down the wicket and blasting that pass Randiff is certainly catchable What a shot. Chris Gale, before the ball was bowled, gave himself room outside the leg stump to go in out over cover. And uh, more of it. Most sixes that Chris Gale has hit in the test innings. Gale now has 74 sixes in cover, trying to restrict and entice Gale to make a mistake. The Jamaican picked his balls with patience for some clean hits. That one is the ball, it's there. Picks it up very early. Nothing too extravagant, nothing too unusual. But Gale would have an unusual score in mind beyond. Gale's innings also saw him go past New Zealander Stephen Fleming's record of 274 to become the only overseas batsman to blast the highest score on Sri Lankan soil. The right note, they are 478 for three on the second day and opener Chris Gale is on 286 not out and in sight of a record score. We cast the action with Damika Prasad bowling to Gale. Now that
that gone. That is a big effort from Danica Prasad. He has not stopped running in all the way through the play in this test match. That is a huge effort to get Gale on 287 with a short delivery. No wonder he's down. Big effort. Yes, indeed. A tremendous effort by Damika Prasad. And Chris Gale is uh, waiting. I can only speculate that maybe it's Brendan Nash who maybe spotted something and alerted Chris Gale. This is what we were talking about. You can't afford <laughs> something like this to happen. Real drama, Sammy. Yeah, no ball, so it's a reprieve. Oh, that was an interesting cricket. Very interesting cricket. Gale is riding on good fortune and he gets ever so close to the 300 mark. At 297, he is on the brink of a landmark innings. A much coveted score that will catapult him to the Hall of Fame. Well, he's broken the field there. The two short covers, he's split the two of them. And he's reached the 300. What an innings. Terrific shot to bring up his 300. Chris Gale in the middle of the wicket on his knees. And his teammates applaud. What else can you say? It's uh, a touching moment. He has a big smile on his face. Congratulated by the Sri Lankan captain, uh, Kumar Sangakkara. What a wonderful innings it's been. There's no doubt about it, everyone who's uh, seen this has appreciated the 301 by Chris Gale now. It joins uh, a very select band of cricketers who've made uh, two triple centuries. That's the moment you'll remember on the 16th of November 2010, mid-afternoon in goal. Definitely a red-letter day as Chris Gale became only the fourth test cricketer to crack two triple centuries. He is now in the Argus company of Sir Don Bradman, Brenda Sehwag and Brian Lara. Over the top and this is big. This is big. The first six of the day for Chris Gale. And what a great shot. Straight over mid-off. Using his feet and timing it perfectly. It's again. He just slung away and the onside gets a boundary for it. I just wonder with this uh, injury whether Gale... Now that'll be four I think. Fielder can get around. Gale's found exactly where he was looking for. And Bumbry just standing up straight and punching. Really? Not anymore. Because Mendes has gone through Chris Gale. Mendes coming into his own here belatedly. It's been a marathon effort by Gale. And uh, just by dint of that, we assume there's no review called for, but what an effort from Chris Gale. Beautifully bowled by Mendes, but Chris Gale is getting uh, recognised by all the Sri Lankans congratulating him on what was a wonderful innings. 333, a marathon performance. He's batted so well over nearly two days. He's shown us his ability to hit the ball out of the ground, into the pickets, and also his ability to bat long periods of time, which takes great concentration. A tremendous achievement here in Gaul. Chris Gale is now out. And uh, the Sri Lankans are starting to make some inroads into this West Indies side. Chris Gale's innings of 333 broke many records and set many milestones along the way, including that of the highest away score by a West Indies batsman, surpassing Vivian Richards' 291.